If you live in an area that experiences winter weather, you know, snow, sleet, freezing rain, then you've probably heard of winter weather advisories, winter storm watches and warnings. But did you know the National Weather Service has watches, warnings and advisories for things you've probably never even heard of? I'm Storm Chief Meteorologist Jason Myers. In no particular order, let's take a look at some of those rarely used alerts in the National Weather Service's arsenal. Lake effect snow advisories, watches, and warnings are all issued around the Great Lakes. When wind blows over any of the Great Lakes just right, it causes lake effect snow, sometimes totaling feet rather than inches. Snow advisories are sometimes issued when a little snow may cause an inconvenience but don't quite meet any winter storm criteria. Heavy snow warnings are issued when a lot of snow is expected over a short time period. The criteria for this varies across the country, but most of the time, National Weather Service offices will just call it a winter storm warning and be done. Blowing snow warnings and snow and blowing snow advisories are issued when snow is going to be blown around to the point where it reduces visibility. Sleet advisories and sleet warnings are almost never issued. These are issued when significant amounts of sleet are forecast, but a very specific atmospheric profile needs to be in place for sleet to form. And it's very difficult to predict, which is why you almost never see these issued. Instead, look for a winter weather advisory. And finally, you've likely never heard of this last one unless you're a crab fisherman on the Bering Sea. Heavy freezing spray advisory, watch, or warning. These are issued when water droplets could freeze or accumulate on a ship at a very fast rate. If you've ever been in the middle of a heavy freezing spray advisory, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one.